नमोस्तुदंताय सहस्रमूर्ते सहस्र पादाक्षरोरमा सहस्रनामे पुषे नम गंधादि सकलाराधनी स्वर्जित अस्तुस्तु स्वर्जित आग्रेय सर्वेवा धूपोयम प्रतिगृहता Fast 
featuring an individual's gearbox and controllable pitch propulsion system, enhancing the ship's maneuverability while maintaining elevated speeds. Most advanced technologies and the capability to perform a host of functions. Ladies and gentlemen, it is noteworthy that the third and fourth vessels of this class are currently in advanced stages of construction and are anticipated to be launched by March 2025. It is also heartening to share that though the contract mandates a minimum of 50% indigenous content, however, through collaborative efforts, the same has been enhanced to over 60%, aligning to the government of India's vision of Atmanirbhar Bharat. Furthermore, precisely a month ago, TSL has also launched the largest vessel of the Indian Coast Guard fleet, the first of the two pollution controllers this project, underscoring the capabilities and commitment of all stakeholders. Today's launching signifies yet another milestone for Goa Shipyard Limited and our service. I wish to extend my heartfelt appreciation to the Chairman and Managing Director of GSL and his dedicated team whose efforts have brought this much anticipated project to fruition. I also extend my special congratulations to all associated firms that will provide the equipment and machine be integral to these vessels. I am confident that GSL's pride in contributing to the growth of the Coast Guard will be reflected in their ongoing maintenance and logistical support throughout the life of these ships. The prompt induction of these service platforms has significant, significantly bolstered the operational scale capacity of Bharat Jinder Prakasha. I am sanguine that GSL will continue to uphold its culture of excellence and commitment in delivering high quality vessels within the stipulated times. It is only fitting to acknowledge the remarkable efforts of the Coast Guard overseas team based in Goa, which has acted as a catalyst for the project's progress in working in tandem with GSL. For me to welcome you all to the launching ceremony of two fast petrol vessels. The eight fast petrol vessel project was led by Goa Shipyard through a complete building process which saw participation from private and balanced public shipyards. The key way of first four activities was held on 25th August 2023 and since then shipyard has made exceptional strides culminating in today's milestone. The simultaneous launch of two vessels using our state of art simply system. This movement is especially noteworthy as it is the first instance of launch of two fast petrol vessels from Simplip and TSL. It stands as a testament to our relentless pursuit of technological advancement and operational efficiency. TSL has domain expertise in the house design and construction of activities and the ongoing project of eight activities further consolidates our forte. We are extremely proud that these platforms have proven its excellence in both the domestic and export market. Domestically, the Indian Coast Guard is our esteemed customer and 11 such vessels have been delivered in the past. In addition, we have demonstrated our capabilities on the internal international scale by successfully delivering two fast petrol vessels to the Mauritius Coast Guard in year 2017. This project continues to highlight GSL commitment to excellence and innovation both at home and abroad. These vessels are a trunk of indigenous design tailor-built for the Indian Coast Guard and represents the embodiment of Aftirvan Bharat. With 65% indigenous content, including steering gear and other advanced systems, we are proud to lead the nation journey towards self-reliance in defense production. These activities will play a crucial role in maritime surveillance, fisheries protection, and the protection of offshore assets. Production of the balanced vessel is also progressing at a very good pace and launch of next vessels in the series is planned 
by end December of this year. This process has rendered severe challenges such as unprecedented disruptions caused due to a COVID-19 pandemic and geopolitical disturbances. Not in the sense that I am proud of the fact that Team ESL in collaboration with the Indian industry and of course with the postcard monitoring team has been able to pull together with utmost zeal and hard work to make this historic launching possible. As we gather here to celebrate the launch of these past petrol vessels, I would like to share a small Hindi poem that captures the essence of today's ceremony. To come as a record, Kinari ko paenge, Samudra ki gahai ko mein, Vijay Pata ka phelayenge, Jahan nahrek dham jayen, Mohan tak safar karenge, Hum harat ke prahari hai, Har chunoti se lagenge. Kaisi or, Kaisi or no, The launching of these vessels, Marks of pivotal movement in the simple process, Symbolizing the transition of the ship, from land to water for the first time. And I am indeed very grateful to Director General Indian Coast Guard Parmesh Sivamani for consenting to be the chief guest for this solemn event today.
respect both the domestic and international visitors awestruck at the splendor of Vishwa. The Association of Indian Coast Guard with GSL dates back to 1988 when the initial contract for two offshore patrol vessels, namely ICPS Varaha and ICPS Varaha, was signed. And so the GSL has so far successfully delivered 33 ships comprising 22 offshore petrol vessels and 11 fast petrol vessels in a timely manner. The launching ceremony and eight old tradition symbolizes good fortune for the construction of a ship and the well-being of a captain and a crew throughout the service. The act of launching represents one of the four significant milestones for the ship's life, besides delay, commissioning and decommissioning. Ladies and gentlemen, Bharatiya Tatraksha plays an essential role in safeguarding the diverse each time maritime interest operation. To ensure sound ocean governance, we diligently protect our vast coastline from international elements and ensure the safety and security of our oceans through constant vigilance at sea. The mere presence of the Indian Coast Guard unit serves a dual purpose. It acts as a deterrent to those with nefarious intentions while providing reassurance to the maritime community to regard us as saviors of sea, fully aware that we will respond promptly to any distress call or emergency situation. Our continued response and engagement has fostered an immense goodwill and trust among our neighbors, reflecting Bharat's stature as a robust maritime power. Over the years, Bharatiya Tatraksha has consistently been among the first to respond, serving as a reliable partner in times of distress, both in our immediate vicinity and beyond, thereby promoting peace, stability, and prosperity in the region. We face numerous challenges at sea, which undertaking both benign and constabulary roles. In order to mitigate these challenges, Bharatiya Tatraksha has embarked on a mission to develop fast petrol vessels which are tailored to meet these challenges, equipped to interdict and apprehend offenders in both shallow and deep waters. These vessels will also fulfill other NSR roles as per our charter of duties. This construction marks the inaugural class of fast petrol vessels featuring an indigenous gearbox and controllable pitch propulsion system enhancing the ship's maneuverability while maintaining elevated speeds. Good morning, it's an honor and you know privilege for me to take over as the 26th Director General of the Indian Coast Guard. I'm equally humbled to you know, take over this honorous task which the Government of India has bestowed on me. Uh, the challenges for the Coast Guard are myriad, but with the act of you know pulling together with the help of all my shipmates we will ensure that whatever charter of duties are bestowed on us will be executed to the nation's fullest satisfaction. We conduct numerous exercises at sea like Sagar coverage to test the efficacy of the coastal security mechanism and um, every edition has more and more uh, you know uh, issues it has more and more uh, uh, scenarios to play into and uh, every time after the event is over there is a good debrief from which we learn lessons to overcome any shortfalls in the existing mechanism. Thank you. <laughs>